Lincoln Era Fire Companies. There were no fire hydrants in Lincoln Springfield. Firemen hand pumped water from pu public cisterns and trampled over fences and gardens to reach private wells. As a homeowner, Lincoln would have been expected to keep two leather buckets handy for an emergency bucket brigade. Below, firemen used, sp firemen used speaking trumpets to communicate over the din at fire scenes. Lincoln Springfield was vulnerable to fire. Crowded wood frame buildings, open flames and stoves, fireplaces, candles, and primitive gas lighting, ineffective alarms, muddy streets, and inadequate water supplies all combined to make fires potentially devastating. Springfield had its share of fires. In 1855, a portion of the block west of the State House burned down, prompting citizens to become more serious about fire threats. Still, it took two more years to collect subscriptions to buy a modern pump carriage and organize an official fire company, the Pioneers. More companies soon followed. Then in February 1858, flames broke out on the squares each side. The fire quickly spread along 6th Street, consuming all the shops in its path. Rounding the southwest corner here on Adams Street, it destroyed more buildings, including Florville, Florville's Barber Shop. Firemen saved as much property as they could by dragging it into the street. Lincoln reportedly helped carry the iron stove out of the dealer's burning drugstore. Fire companies were important social institutions in Lincoln's world. Much like volunteer militiamen, volunteer firemen enjoyed parading in uniforms at community events and relished the parties, dances, and banquets sponsored by their companies. Companies would challenge each other in co competitions to demonstrate their firefighting prowess. In 1858, a Jacksonville company came to Springfield for Fourth of July festivities. But play could be as dangerous as the real thing. During the competition, a member of the Springfield Company was severely injured by a, a bursting leather fire hose. In a banquet that day, Abraham Lincoln, an honored guest, offered the following toast to the hometown volunteers. The Pi Pioneer Fire Company, may they extinguish all the bad flames, but keep the flames of patriotism ever burning brightly in the hearts of ladies.